So many scooters. So many scooters. No, get out of the way. Go away. Click over to budgetvapors.com to get some of my most favorite flavors in the entire industry for 15% off using my promo code GABESENTYA. When you use my promo code over on Budget Vapors, you can get 120 milliliters of premium e-liquid for just $8.49. Also available on BudgetVapors.com is my juice line. The Light Designs liquid line is available in 60 and 120 milliliter bottles. Both my juice line and the many, many delicious Budget Vapors flavors are developed in a high quality lab down in Florida. When you pick up my juice line or use my promo code, it really helps keep the Light Designs program going so thank you all so much for helping support the channel I really appreciate it so today we are here at a park that I've never skated before um, I'm over here at the Milford New Hampshire skate park um, so we're gonna do a review get a couple shots and uh, see what we can throw down it's oh this is gonna be super fun all right I'm pumped to I'm pumped to be filming here today there's a bunch of people um, so I'm just gonna get right to it. I got about an hour, hour and a half-ish to throw down. Um, I'm gonna throw the head thing on and just get right to it. This is super nice. What a cool park this is. What a nice park, dude. Sick. So you got a little pyramid. scooters so many scooters no get out of the way go away get out of the way you going down like that yeah you gotta flip it first um. Bro, this is crazy. Did everybody just snake everybody like that here? This is legit the biggest manual pad I've ever seen. It's more it's more of like a loading dock than it is a manual pad, you know. I've never seen so many scooters in one place before. Yeah. 
<laughs> Yo, really? I'm so sorry. This poor dude is getting snaked by not only scooter kids, but the entire Asikai revolution. I mean, it's not the biggest park in the world, but there's plenty of room. I've had enough. <laughs> I'm not trying to continuously dodge scooters and the Asika revolution. All right, so here's my assessment. Milford Skate Park, really fun park itself. However, the attendees of the Milford Skate Park have no skate park et etiquette whatsoever. No way, shape, or form. It is a haven of little kids, doing whatever they want with no kind of fear of repercussion. Like all the kids here are like young enough and don't seem to really take scootering seriously enough to have had like a really bad injury. So they don't really comprehend the uh, gravity of getting laid out by somebody crashing into them or like getting really hurt. That being said, this is a really fun skate park. Um, and don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, I am not someone who's like, little kids should stay out of the skate park because little kids should be in the skate park. That helps keep extreme sports going for the next generation and helps our sports grow and it's great. It's great stuff. However, some really good scooter person watching this video, please come to this skate park and teach these little kids skate park etiquette because oh my gosh, they're gonna get squished. I think the ramps, in the skate park itself are really fun like super super fun obstacles you know cool park it's a good vibe here like there's families and, and people and there's a gas station across the street so you can get like drinks and stuff it's a good environment super positive everybody's having a good time however sometimes when you're having a good time you're unaware of others and it makes it a bad time for others there's little kids everywhere and and like full grown adults with RC cars just snaking the two people who are trying to get real tricks. Like I stopped skating when I saw them come in with the RC cars. I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to, <laughs> this isn't paper boy. I'm not trying to like hit any more obstacles. So would I recommend you check out the Milford skate park? I would recommend you check out the Milford skate park if you come at a time that kids are in school because wow, it's a circus in there. All the ramps are super, super fun. The terrain is a little bit rough. It's similar to like Dover Skate Park, uh, but it's still really good on a skateboard. Great on a bike. I'm assuming it's good on a scooter because it seems to be like a breeding ground of like little scooter kids. So I don't ride a scooter. It might be good. I don't know. You have to ask that. I kind of feel bad for like the local like skater dudes because I, I talked to one of them and he was like, this is like life it's normally worse and yes i do have a bmx bike in the back of my truck this is one of the last times you'll probably see my bmx bike bye i'm trading it ironically i'm trading my bmx bike for a scooter but not not that kind of scooter so you guys go wheeling all the time yeah but not like this where it's like here everything smashing and crank it like that. Jesus. Whoa. Don't tip it. <laughs> the noises. Father search my soul. Take away my fear and doubt. All this that you find left. Father cast it out. Yes, 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 yes,